if you're not careful, social media will definitely turn into a contest of you ultimately fighting yourself, fighting the algorithm, fighting for likes. So today, what we're going to dive into, I'm going to show you how you don't have to fight for likes, but ultimately, you can utilize social media to get what you want. Let's get into the episode. Welcome to the Your Podcast Mentor Show with Jonathan Jones. Here, you will learn how to start, launch, and monetize your podcast. In addition to hearing the latest trends and the latest and greatest things happening in the podcast industry. Are you ready? Whoa, 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 whoa. For my speakers, for my coaches, for my consultants, hold the phone, all right? So look, I know you're out there and I know you're in a spot to where you're tired of trying to do all of these things just to get in front of more people, all right? Here's the first way, the old way that we've been going about doing things, right? Going live, Monday through Friday, videos constantly, this and that. That just don't work anymore. And it's going to burn you out. And then next, my consultants, we're calling and we're trying to get everybody and anybody on a free consultation. They're our target audience or they're not. But now you're starting to lose confidence because you're virtually giving your business away. We can't do business like that anymore. And then lastly, my speakers. Oh, my speakers. You want to speak on all the stages. You're going to speak anywhere. And then you're in the spot to where you're speaking. And then the only thing you're leaving with is a free chicken basket. Oh, no, no, no. So look, I have a free training, right? I put together a free training to help you get to the yes. Yes, right? So I put together this training and I'm going to show you my 4P strategy, all right? And my 4P strategy, what it's going to break down is going to help you become the authority in your industry and help you cut down on having to do all of this so we can just skip right to this, all right? So don't wait, don't hesitate, click the link right just down below. I'm going to see you in the training because it's time to cut down the rat race and just start getting to the paper chase. See you in the training. Family, family, what's going on? It's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones, and we're diving in for another episode. And before we dive in, I want to take a time and I want to shout out uh, the review of the week, right? So I want to shout out the listener of the week. And the listener went on to say, uh, insightful, helpful, and eye-opening. This podcast is beyond helpful, and the icing on the cake is it's 100% authentic. Shout out to Jono the Giant uh, for leaving that review on Apple. We appreciate it. We appreciate you. And much salute to him because he's also a member of the Get Paid with Podcasting community and the family. So shout out to him. But also, family, what I want to I want to uh, take a slight caveat. And, and I want to talk about, and this might seem super, super, super random, but I've been learning since podcast movement, and even a little bit before then, uh, I've been learning about NFTs, right? And NFTs, which stands for non-fungible token, okay? And as I'm continuing to learn more and more about NFTs, I'm thinking that it's something that I want to experience, and I want to see how we can show the audience, show the podcasting community how this can benefit you and also how this can benefit your audience. Okay. So two things I want to say. One is I actually launched the NFT. Okay. I actually launched my first NFT. Um, but in addition to launching my NFT, which I'll have the link down below, you can click it. Um, you can sign up and you can, you know, you can purchase the NFT if you desire. Uh, right now, I think it, I don't know what the price is. Um, last I checked, it was $14. But with the purchase of that NFT, you know, you will be able to say that you have um, the first NFT that I've released. Also, you're going to get special access, special benefits, and you'll even get to hop on a coaching call with me one time a month, a group coaching call one time a month. So I'll have the link down below. And the password is uh, podcast growth. Okay, so you can click the link down there to go to my site. And the password is Podcast Growth, capital P, capital G, all right? But the other thing I wanted to just share with you is this. Um, so shout out to uh, Carlos with, with Uncut.fm. Shout out to Seth Silvers 
uh, who's really been helpful in this process. Shout out to Tanner Campbell, who's been helpful as well. Uh, and shout out to Kevin, Kevin Tarka. He's over there with Uncut.fm. And what they're doing is they have a platform where they're wanting to help more podcasters get started in the NFT space and build community um, around that. So just wanted to let you all know that that's something that we're dabbling in over here on this side. And I know it's not for everybody, but hey, you know, if you're somebody that wants to get a different level of access, you're somebody that wants to be able to say, you know, I was one of the first members of the uh, your podcast, well, the podcast people community. Hey, you know, be, be, be my guest, be my guest. Um, but once again, you can click the link just down below. And if you don't remember the password, then shoot me a DM and say, John, hey, I want to purchase the NFT. What's the password? And I'll DM it to you. Uh, of course, you know, I'm Jonathan Jones Speaks on all platforms. But anyway, what I wanted to talk about today, what I want to talk about today is business media versus social media, right? Because I, I, one of my first business coaches, his name was Kendall Ficklin, and Kendall told us, he said, you have to understand the difference between social media and business media. John, what does that mean? Break it down. Don't worry, I got you. So when we talk about social media, we think Instagram, we think TikTok, we think Twitter, we think these different platforms, and it's utilized for us to socialize with people, build connections, build relationships, connect with people all over the world, and all of those things. However, we have to be very intentional how we connect with people on social media. Because if we continue to connect with people on social media, and I've been guilty of this, I'll go first. I've been guilty. Getting on to see how many comments I can get, see how many likes I can get, see how many followers I can get. And by doing these things, this ultimately is a vanity metric which if not intentionally and strategically done, the only thing it will lead to is comments, follows, and likes. And those things don't always necessarily convert to dollars and cents. And it's not all about money, right? So if you're out there like, John, this is all about money. No, it's not all about money. But what I do want you to understand is if you're not intentional, having a lot of followers, having a lot of comments, and having a lot of likes, that's going to just lead to more of those things. Just like we saw the young lady, I'm not sure how long ago, but she had over a million followers, I believe, on Instagram, and then she couldn't even sell a $20 t-shirt. If you never train your audience, you never train your followers, you never introduce to them the opportunity for them to invest in something, for them to purchase something, for them to give you money or do business with you, which is the exchange of goods and services for a set fee, for a flat fee, then you're at fault. Here's what I'm saying. If you've listened to this podcast more than one time before, more than likely you've heard me advertise the five-day podcast challenge, right? Then I've also talked about my webinar or my masterclass. I said you can go to getpaidwithpodcasting.com and you can sign up for my masterclass. After my masterclass and after my five-day challenge, I present an opportunity for individuals who say, John, this was great training, this was great teaching, but I need to know more. I need you to coach me through I need you and I want to hear your feedback, your thoughts, your opinions. Then I present an offer to where they can sign up or to where they might say, no, that's not the offer for me. I'm good. And either way, I just want you to know if you don't put offers out there, then nobody will ever take an offer from you. If you never attempt to sell anybody anything, then nobody will ever attempt to buy anything. So that's why, you, like I said, you've heard me uh, offer the five-day podcast challenge. You've heard me also offer the masterclass. And then now you've heard me talk about this NFT, which you can purchase. It's all on you. You don't have to buy it or you could. Hey, I'm fine either way, but I just want to present the opportunity, right? And then there's other products that, you know, you've heard me speak of while I've been on the show and different things like that. But when it's social media, we're just being social. 
we're not doing business. It's social, right? So we have to be very careful and we got to draw that line in the sand. But then on the other side where it's business media, right? Where we go online and we go online with the purchase of presenting our product to somebody. We go online seeing who we can serve at the highest level and seeing who we can really help. And then if we know we can help that individual, then, hey, let them know about the link in the bio, right? Just like I've done with my book before I did, people can get my, my podcasting book. I said, get my book for free. You just got to help me pay for the shipping. I'm presenting an opportunity to somebody who might want to purchase it because in the book, I walk through the process of how you can start a podcast, right? Start, launch, monetize, and market a podcast, all that good stuff. But when we talk business media, the focus is not just to get people to comment, but get people to engage so that we can see deeper or so that we can begin to expose their need deeper. And then once we begin to expose their need, then we can provide a solution. And if you have the ability, the skill set, the knowledge, the intellect to provide a solution to somebody, then that means you should be compensated for it. And you can be compensated for it, but only if you make the extension of the offer. Does that make sense? So we got to be very careful when we talk about social media versus business media, because in 2022, there's a lot of people getting a whole lot of likes. There's a lot of people getting a whole lot of followers. But just because somebody follows you is one thing. Getting somebody to trust you, getting somebody then to say, I like your teaching style, you're adding value, then getting somebody to take out their wallet and then getting somebody to hit the buy button, that's a process. It doesn't just happen overnight. You're not just going to get somebody to say, oh, I want to buy from you, just off a whim. And if that does happen, kudos to you because you've already done these four things in the process to help people. You've already helped somebody trust you, maybe because what they've seen of you, heard from you in an interview, and maybe they might trust the other individual that interviewed you, right? Then the second part is if they like how you teach, right? E.T., Dr. Eric Thomas, he's yelled at people for years. He's a motivational speaker and people have done business with him because they like his style. I liked his style growing up. I still tap in with E.T., but it just makes sense, right? Because eventually I said, I'm willing to buy something of his. Then I bought a book. Then I said, I'm willing to buy something of his and I bought a ticket to a conference. So at the end of the day, if we're going in with the intention of doing business, then we need to lead with our business hat on versus leading with our sociable hat, right? You can be social, that's fine. But just know that just because you're social with somebody and then you decide to make the switch to want to do business, it's not always going to convert. But if you lead with business, then when it's time to do business, they already know what time it is because you've been talking about it the whole time. So then they can cash you out, right? So family, it's your, it's your podcast mentor, Jonathan Jones. Like I said before, if you have not tapped in and you're a speaker, coach, or consultant, and you're struggling to get more speaking gigs, you're struggling to get in front of more people, I want you to go to getpaidwithpodcasting.com. We got the link down below, getpaidwithpodcasting.com. I want to help you, right? I want to help you in my masterclass, free masterclass. I want you to come in. I want you to... Uh, tap in and I'm going to show you how to start a podcast. I'm going to show you ultimately how you can begin to really leverage it and also how you can monetize it. So get paid with podcasting.com. Look forward to seeing you in the training. And if you also want to be shouted out as the uh, review of the week, then I want you just to go on Apple, go to Apple, type in your podcast mentor, and then uh, leave a helpful review for somebody else who's out there. But family, until next time, peace and God bless. This is your podcast mentor show where we help you elevate your platform so you can profit on purpose from your podcast.